I think one of the things that people mistake about technology is they imagine that there's something sinister about technology itself. There's a worry with any kind of automation called the paradox of automation. The paradox is this, the more you rely on a machine or a device or someone else to do your work for you, the less you do it yourself. And by doing less, you become less expert. You weaken your, your capacities atrophy. One of the questions that really interests us is whether in the process of interacting with machines, uh, with AI, we form a kind of a loop, a feedback. Can that make us better? Does it offer us a chance at getting better? Hi, I'm Pranab Das. I'm a professor of physics at Elon University, and I'm the principal advisor for the Templeton World Charity Foundation's Diverse Intelligences Initiative. It's certainly the case if you outsource a particular activity, you don't do that activity, and maybe you get less expert at it. But it's also possible that if you're careful and you've offloaded a task, that creates a space in your own life, in your own thinking, in your own emotional world, to focus on something else. So for example, if you've given uh, a machine the capacity to do something mundane, small, you let your mind then focus on the more important, on the more uh, profound aspect of the problem, maybe you then build a capacity you didn't have time to build before. Maybe you exercise muscles, maybe you exercise your brain, maybe you exercise your feelings in ways you wouldn't have if you had been constantly occupied by doing the little work. Our job is really to identify people and researchers, research teams who are exposing new ways in which machines could help our moral development. Could a machine, for example, hang out with you and just provide you feedback, remind you to be attentive, remind you to, to be your best self? That's a way in which, over the course of time, you might no longer need a reminder. You might have, have been focused, you might have found your way in the direction you were already going. So imagine then AI being a microscope. AI has the capacity to explore spaces of information much, much larger than we can take in. It can wait, it's much more patient than humans. So like a microscope or like many of our tools, what AI can certainly do is give human minds, human ethical capacities, human spiritual capacities, more information upon which to base good decisions.